Hi everyone, Chelsea here bringing you another segment of Living in Southwest Florida. The real estate industry has been experiencing a historic perfect storm of low interest rates, low inventory, and delayed new construction. And here on the Gulf Coast, that is particularly true. So with that, I thought it might be a great idea to jump into the May 2021 market update and help you catch up on all that's been going on around here. But really quickly, it would mean a lot to me if you could hit that like button so that the YouTube algorithms can share this info with others and let me know that you'd like more. And as always, we love helping people from all over the country buy and sell their homes here in Southwest Florida. So if you or anyone you know are thinking about moving, then please feel free to use the contact information. All right, let's jump on in. Everyone is hearing around the country that inventory is low, but did you know that 15% more homes listed in May of 2021 than the May the year prior? That's right, in Southwest Florida, we saw 4,115 newly listed homes in May, which blows out of the water the 3,491 houses listed in May of 2020 by a good solid 15%. Sellers do know that it's a good time to sell and they're taking advantage of that at record pace. That means that this market is not being driven because sellers aren't selling. It's being driven because there are more buyers than we can currently handle. We closed 4,599 homes in May of 2021, which was more than double the 2,080 homes sold in May of 2020. Those records are smashing through the roof and just like them, you should smash that like button. Well, this perfect storm is certainly benefiting all of those sellers who have sold for 32% more in 2021. Median sales price for Southwest Florida was 355,000, up from the median sales price of 268,250 a year prior. Now let's talk and pause about these stats for a minute. First off, I'm using median prices instead of average prices. The average would take all of the sales, put them together, and divide them by the number of homes sold. This is great, except that the sales also include high and low ones, like the $14 million homes in Naples that closed, and that sale where the agent accidentally input the sales price as $287 instead of $287,000, and it throws those numbers out of whack. Instead, I'm trying to find the middle, and by doing that, I'm using median, which goes through the homes and finds exactly where that middle point is. One home above, one home below. One home above, one home below. This number's a little bit more on where the exact middle of the market is. Second off, something to keep in mind is when we're discussing these last year's numbers, we have to account that these homes went under market during the duress at the beginning of a shutdown. If I pull May 2019 instead to compare, we had 3,755 homes sold for a median sales price of 270,000. Similar sales price to 2020, but more houses. Either way though, it's still much less than what we're currently looking at for 2021. So either way you look at it, we are still way up from market norms. Another interesting stat is our days on market. Houses were on market for only eight days but they also had a continuous days on market for 61 days. So what does that mean? Many homes went under contract quickly, fell out of escrow, and then went back under contract quickly again. This is common, 10 to 15% typically fall out of escrow for various reasons, but we saw this number double as buyers began to either second guess their choices from rushing too fast, or they struggled to make the numbers work. That being said, 61 days of continuous days on market is still less than we've seen in those years past. So they're still selling even faster at a higher rate. Also something to consider is that these homes still closed at their record rate and got a median of 100% of their asking prices. Buyers, you need to go and prepare that this is not the typical market where we're gonna be able to negotiate those sellers down. Plan your budgets accordingly to be either at 100% of ask price or above to be safe. 
If you have any questions about this data or if you'd like to drill down and compare specifics like say Cape Coral versus Fort Myers, single family homes versus condos, waterfront or not, we're happy to help you get acquainted with them and get comfortable with what a realistic sales price and budget may be. We are providing virtual property and neighborhood tours more than ever. And as a born and bred Floridian, we know all the best places for your desired lifestyle and budget. So if you want to reach out, use that contact information below or check out CapeCoralFortMyersRealEstate.com and see all those listings right as they hit the market. Also, feel free to find me on social media. And as always, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.